Hello, I'm Ryan, Chief Marketing Officer for Adapa, and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a simple database through SQLite and import information into it from a .sql file. So, to start off with, there's two things that I like to have open. I like to have open a file explorer so I can see what's going on and when I create a database to make sure that it's there, and of course a command prompt. In the command prompt, what you're going to want to do to create this database is call out the SQLite 3 program, wherever it's located. Make sure that it's in the right directory. If not, you want to change that. Um, I just made mine simply where it basically automatically already is. Um, and then you want to create the actual database. And I'm going to name this database test data and make sure to add on the DB extension to make sure it's a database. From here, it should be created, but it will not show up in the File Explorer just yet. To make it show up in the File Explorer, you want to type .database, and now it should show up to show that it's been created. From here, I like to quit out of it because it's just the simplest way for me to do it. From here, to import information, all I have to do is SQLite 3 again, and then you want to type that database that you just created. Open caret to the right, and then you want to add the .sql file that you're pulling the information from. In this case, I'm pulling rating.sql. Once it's done that, that means it's completed. From here, you can just open up SQLite 3. And then from here, all you have to do to check to make sure that it's worked is you type dot tables. Oh, my apologies. I need to open the database first. So you type dot open and do test data dot db or whatever you file name you created. From here now you can type dot tables it should pop up and now you can perform SQLite commands to get the information that you want. I'm just going to do a very simple one here from movie. Oh, I always forget that. And now you pull out the information. If you want to format this a little better or your data a little better you can. Um, my apologies. What I like to do here is type header on mode column and now you can perform that same query again <laughs> and now you get your information formatted very nicely. Stay tuned for more videos to come on how to use SQLite and do many other things with it such as entering it in yourself and vice versa. Thanks, have a nice day.